Good morning, everyone. This is Mary, and it's Make It Monday. And today we are going to be making this birthday card using our watercolor pencils and a water brush to create the background that, to me, kind of resembles a tie-dye situation. Um, I like tie-dye, so maybe that's why I equated to that. I don't know. But it's a really simple card to make, and I'll be right back to show you how. All right, to make this card, you will need your watercolor pencils, and I'm only using the Assortment 2 watercolor pencils. You get, uh, I think there's 10 in here. Two, four, six, eight, yep, 10 pencils in the watercolor set. I have four of them. The colors I'm gonna be using are Gorgeous Grape, Night of Navy, Coastal Cabana, and Balmy Blue. This one is Coastal Cabana. And of course, you'll need your water brush. You'll need a piece of Whisper White cardstock. This is cut four and a quarter by 11 and scored at five and a half. You'll need a piece of basic black cardstock that is cut four, excuse me, four and an eighth by five and three quarters. And a piece of white cardstock. This one measures four and a quarter by five and a half, but you're going to cut it down and you're going to use it to make your uh, watercolor background. So we're going to start with the watercolor background. It's very, very simple. Using four colors, I just simply took, this is a small piece of paper, but you want to make it a little bit bigger, but I'm going to just go with the smaller one here. I started with Gorgeous Grape at the bottom and just you know, kind of filled in the color on my paper. You can use watercolor paper with this if you'd like. Um, it's perfectly acceptable. I'm not. I'm using regular cardstock. And then I went with my second color was Night of Navy. And I overlapped a little bit and came back up a little more to give me an, uh, kind of an ombre effect. And then the third color is Balmy Blue, and I just kind of filled that in until I got the amount of color that I wanted. And the last one was Coastal Cabana. Then with your water brush, you're going to just push on the center. It's real easy. You just fill it with a little bit of water. The tip comes off. You fill it with a little water. The tip stains, but it's not affecting what I'm getting on my paper. So it's kind of wet right now. So I just add a little more water and kind of just work the color the way I want the color. Anywhere, you know, mixing them together, bringing them together. All the way to the edges and back until you get the color that you'd like. And the watercolor pencils are really easy to use. You can also use them to actually paint with them. And I'll give you an example. One second. Be right back. I use both sets of watercolor pencils to, pens to paint this magnolia, which is in the Magnolia Morning stamp set. Um, I used the water brush and just simply lifted the color with the from my pencil, put a little bit of color on it, and lifted it and used it to color with. And it's just that simple. I like the colored pencils, the watercolor pencils. They work really, really nicely. And now we have to let that dry. Another technique you could use with the watercolor pencils is a resist where you actually use the Versamark and your uh, Stampin' Emboss powder with your Happy Birthday and you stamp with the Versamark and you heat set it to get a background like this. It will resist the colors of the when you water it and stay the same white color. Those are some ideas that you can use with your color pencils. So now we'll finish our card. OK, 
Okay, I took a small piece like I just showed you, Stamp Happy Birthday and the flowers, both of them from the Birthday Jubilee set, and cut them out. I just simply cut this out. I believe it's like a quarter, three quarters of an inch wide. And then I'm going to take my little snips and just pendant one end. What you want to do is cut down the center and then cut to that point to get a little flag shape at the end. And there you go. That's your birthday banner for the front of your card and here's your flowers. And as you can see, um, I just turned it on the paper, stamped it where I wanted so that I got most of the colors going into it. And then I cut it out with my die cuts. Just that easy. Next, we are going to we're going to put the black onto our card front using some snail adhesive. And like I said, the black is cut just a tiny little bit like a quarter of an inch smaller than the front of the card. Okay. That way when you cut your water your uh, watercolor design, it you'll cut it to fit right inside of that. I'll be right back. All right, now I'm I cut this down and this actually is now five and a quarter by four. And it, as you see, it will just simply border very small bit of black, which kind of helps the colors and to tie it into the black ink that we're going to use. So we're going to use some quite a bit of this because this is still a little curly from painting it. So I'm going to put some to get it to lie straight, especially in the corners. A little too much on one side. I'm not sure why, but the black likes to do that. Okay. And that's the front of the card. All right, now we're going to use a few stamping dimensionals to put our flowers on. And I'm going to put this right over here near the corner, kind of on a, in the corner on an angle, and then our birthday is gonna go somewhat below that, near the bottom. Just a couple stamping dimensionals on that. all over my floor. I don't know about you, but they're everywhere in my house. Line that up, set it down, and there's the beginnings of your card. Now to kind of balance it out, I did a few um, flowers near the bottom here using the stamp set and the Memento Black Ink. Just a couple of them. And I kind of alternated the way they were facing each other. And with the black ink, it, it's just an outline. So you can see the colors through it. We're not going to color it in. We're just going to leave it the way it is. And one more. Okay. 
Now for the bow, we are using the metallic ribbon from the uh, annual catalog. This is a uh, blue shimmery ribbon. It's uh, shiny and it's a light blue color with the silver running through it. So we're going to make a little bow out of that. And I have told you before, I'm not the greatest bow tire. So if you see me struggling, you know why. I'm going to leave it on the roll this time in an effort to try and save some of that that I throw away all the time. So there we go. I hope we can straighten it out and tighten it up to make the bow that I like to have. So There. A little more straightening. other side. I kind of like the look of that. So we're going to cut it off with our paper snips. And I didn't, I won't be wasting as much this time. And we're going to use a stamping glue dot to adhere it. And just take your knot and find your dot. Put it on the dot and lift it up and there we go we'll put this right here and cut off the other part of our ribbon and the final element that I'm going to add are some rhinestones I used the pearls on this one but I think I'm going to try the rhinestones just for a different look on this one and we will use our Take your pick tool. It's a really big one. Oh, look, the glue didn't stick to it. That's not good. We'll get a different one. Maybe if we use the other end, it might work better. Yep, there we go. One in the center. And then we'll take one of these each of the other two flowers and I think I'm going to move our bow up a bit because it looks like it's a little too low to me and eh, we'll leave it right there because I just that'll have to do anyway I like this one better I kind of moved the birthday down too far on this one this one is more balanced to me than this one is but that's our project for today um, if you liked it please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Um, I will be back next Monday for another Make It Monday, which we will be starting with our new stamp set for the month of March. Uh, till then, have a great Monday. Hope to see you soon. Bye.